talk about the power of thank you. Yeah, it's a simple two word statement that means so much. I am Jacqueline and I love supporting people on enriching their lives through love, life activities, partnerships, ventures, living to the fullest. And something that I often like to do is surprise people. With my matchmaking agency, occasionally I will toss in some surprise upgrades to a few people. I'll give people a free ticket to something. I'll send them some bonus gifts of content or information at no request of theirs, but out of a feeling of surprise generosity, because honestly, I love a surprise. I love an unexpected gift from somebody. I love knowing somebody wanted to do a little and then some for me. So I love to do that in return. So I, though, being somebody who loves to give, the only thing I ever want in return is a thank you. Now, it is all about, you know, you got to give unconditionally. And I have definitely learned that lesson because it's not fair to give with an expectation of something in return. But out of the world we live in, I would think the one thing I should be able to kind of count on is a thank you. And I have to say that even though I give my gifts to wonderful, generous, kind, giving, loving people, yeah, they don't always tend to say thank you. Mm-hmm. Let me just be honest with you. <laughs> and it made me think about, have you found this to be the case? Gratitude is kind of lost. They forget to acknowledge, say appreciation, something they didn't have to pay for or even request, but then they enjoy taking advantage of what has been given to them. It's one thing if you give something and the person doesn't utilize it, you know, if they don't acknowledge it or take advantage of the service or the product or the experience that was given to them. But those that do, it surprises me when somebody doesn't just stop and say, thank you. I appreciate that. That was nice of you. I'm grateful for that. And so I have learned that I need to always make sure I give with no expectations, even the expectation of a thank you. But I will tell you a thank you will go really, really far. So I want to hear from you. Have you had moments where you've given and then you kind of felt it went flat, like the person didn't even realize how much you just gave and how generous you were being? Or did they just take it for granted that they just assumed they should get that from you? Or they forgot to realize that actually that was a giving gift. It wasn't something implied or expected. And I am curious about your stories. Have you had this happen? I know for a lot of people, they're very generous in so many aspects, but they forget to receive generously too. When you are receiving something, even if you didn't ask for it, but it has been given to you, it is important to acknowledge, just like the simple thing of the act of somebody holding the door open for you, saying thank you is nice, or even being the person who holds the door open and you want to hear a little thank you in response. It's very little, but it's actually a huge reaction. Recently, I wanted to take a friend out for her birthday dinner And she surprised me while I was busy doing something else and took care of the tab. It was so generous of her and it wasn't expected. I was all prepared to treat for her because it was her birthday. So sometimes that reciprocation is unexpected, but it's also very important to show gratitude when you aren't expecting, you had a different plan in mind. And I want you to think about the times that you maybe could have said a little more of a thank you, or maybe you should should say thank you, even if it's a little late. I think we forget to stop and pause and appreciate what is right there. Never do we ever want to become the person who takes it for granted. So it's kind of funny because I do a little test every once in a while and I'll send out a special gift or something. And I will tell you that even though my clients are the coolest people and they're very wonderful and they're beautiful, kind, giving, lovely individuals, they aren't really the best at a thank you. And I really make note of that. And I think that what happens in the dating world, we can get so caught up in what it is that we want that we forget 
that the other person also is observing what they want in return. When you are single for a long time, it's you yourself and all that you can think about. And it's hard to remember that we need to also give back. So I will say maybe 15, if I'm being generous, 20% of the people that I will surprise with a bonus actually say thank you. And I don't think they even realize they aren't saying thank you. And so it made me think about this on so many levels. Like, you know, if you take somebody on a date, do they take it for granted? I was watching a video of a gal that was like, hey, this guy wants to take me out. I'm not really into him, but I'd love to go get some um, oysters. You might've seen this video. And she managed to eat 48 oysters all by herself. And as she's just like diving into all of this stuff, focus so much more on the enjoyment of eating the food than having any kind of a conversation. The guy actually got up and went and paid for the drink he asked her out for and then left and said, hey, you really weren't here for me. You were just here to get a free meal. And so people have been commenting about this. And I thought, you know what? Good for him. He absolutely was being taken advantage of. She had no interest in building anything more with him. She just had a little bit of free time and sliding him into her schedule because she wanted some free food. Like, no, 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 no. So the thing is, is that we have to step back and be like, take some gratitude, take some time to pause, take some time to stop and think, how does the other person feel? Even if you're not a match and you say, thank you so much for asking me out. Thank you so much for messaging me and wanting to get together. Thank you so much for your wonderful comments about my profile, whatever it is. Even if you are not interested, you can still say, thank you. You know, it's a gracious way to be. It's respectful way to be. And it's so important to make the extra move to go forward on your level of who you are. It's not always about what the other person's doing. It's what you are doing. So my giving of extra gifts or extra bonuses, or we'll host an event and I'll give a whole bunch of extra gifts that they weren't expecting. I laugh at the fact that there's those people that will be like, oh my gosh, this was so wonderful. And then there'll be those people that are like, oh, well, this wasn't quite high enough caliber of goodies and treats when I'm like, that wasn't even part of the ticket price. This was an extra. So people like to find something to complain about. They forget to stop and appreciate. But you know what? If you just focused in and honed in onto your gratitude and every time somebody did something nice for you, you said thank you. You took a moment to pause and appreciate them. You would find a much better outcome. And the other person would be more receptive to continuing the engagement of the conversation. So let me know what you think about thank yous. Even the nicest, classiest, sharpest people I know aren't always that great at saying thank you. What is your thank you quadrant of level of communication? Are you really good at thank you? Or are you kind of like, oh yeah, I just say, oh, that was nice. You know, you kind of pass it off. Or do you not even acknowledge it. I'm super curious. So comment below, like, subscribe. So we keep this conversation going. I really want to know what your thoughts are on. Thank you.